Hello guys! Alright, I have a new product to try. Although I think I've probably tried this, um, Gardein makes this. Um, and they make a breaded chicken patty for their, what do you call it? Oh, their, <laughs> I can't think, their chicken, pr chicken primavera, is that what you call that? With the pasta? Anyway, this is Packaged by President's Choice, sold at Loblaws, Fortino's, uh, Zare's, any of the President's Choice stores. This was a pack of 10, 850 grams for $12.99, 7 grams of soy protein. It's vegetarian, it says, but it's, also, it's actually vegan. Uh, lightly seasoned and breaded vegetarian scalloponi made with a blend of soy protein, wheat gluten, and ancient grains. It's sold under their, under their blue menu, which is their healthier line of foods. Delicious vegetarian scallopini made with vegetable and grain-based blend of soy protein, wheat gluten, and ancient grains, including kamut, corsan wheat, amaranth, millet, and quinoa. Evenly sliced for even cooking, resulting in crispy oven-baked perfection. Now, what you see here is it's packaged by Gardein. Now, if you get these, if you buy Gardein, for example, I bought a big pack of their these chicken tenders, which were delicious, but it's a much better value, like three times the amount you get in there for for half for twice the price. You kind of get a lot more in a bigger package like this than buying the smaller package of Gardein. Let's see what's in it. Water, soy protein isolate, canola oil, wheat gluten, modified cellulose, ground ancient grains, camet core. Coruscant wheat, amaranth millet quinoa, yeast extract, potato starch, natural flavor, sea salt, white vinegar, evaporated cane syrup, corn maltodextrin, soy sauce, which consists of water, soybean salt, color, dextrin, gum, gum arabic, arabic, sorry, onion powder, garlic powder, pea protein concentrate, beetroot powder, carrot powder, spice extracts, silicon dioxide, smoke flavor, and, oh gosh, I don't know, toaster, to Tokerfolas? Tokerfolas? Toserfolas? I don't know how to say that word. Sorry, guys. Breading, wheat flour, water, modified cornstarch, wheat, gluten, sugar, salt, toasted wheat crumbs, dextrose, wheat starch, yeast, spice extracts, caramel color, mono, and diglycerides, soy, protein isolate, corn flour, baking powder, high oleic, sunflower oil, dried onion, spices, soy lecithin, calcium sulfate, guar gum, soy protein concentrate. I'll just sort of try to go a little closer for you guys to see that, if you can take a moment to see all that stuff. How to prepare, you can cook it in the oven, 425 for about 20 minutes, middle rack, pan fry it from frozen over medium-low heat, and uh, cook for 7 to 8 minutes on each side. I don't know, if, maybe I'll put it in the oven. And what's, what are, what's the nutritional fact? So for every one patty you get... 180 calories, 9 grams of fat, 0.5 grams saturated fat, 2 grams polyunsaturated, which uh, you've got omega-6, 1.5 grams, 0.4 grams of omega-3, monounsaturates, 5 grams, zero cholesterol, 280 milligrams of sodium, potassium, 65 milligrams, 17 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein, vitamin A, 0, vitamin C, 0, vitamin 2, sorry, <laughs> calcium, 2%, and iron, 10%. So package for Loblaws made by Gardein. Let me open. I don't know, it just matters. It sort of depends if I feel like having the added oil or not. Uh, let me just give you guys a look at what they look like. So good sized patties. And I figured instead of me getting the chicken tenders, you can always, like I like, I like to make wraps with those, you can always warm up one of these and then just slice it for a wrap. I'm going to have one now, and I'm going to make it into a burger, because I'm hungry, and I will decide if I'm going to pan fry that, or maybe it'll be healthier, guys, and I'll put it in the oven. I'll be back. Okay, this is what it looks like, and it feels nice and crispy. I'm just going to put it back in the oven for a little bit, because I'm going to put a piece of my Earth Island uh, Garden Herb Cheese on that. I'm making myself a nice chicken burger. There we go. That's a good amount of cheese. I can nibble on the rest. Um, I don't know. Should I taste it first? Okay, I'll, I'll taste it, guys. 
Let's see what it tastes like. I'll try to just, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be good, but I'll just try to get one of the edges. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, before I put it. That's what it looks like. So it sort of looks like a white breasted uh, chicken. That batter, the coating, beautiful, flavorful, nice, love that. Tastes great. Totally tastes great, guys. This will make a fabulous burger. Um, I'm just going to put this back in the oven to melt the cheese. I'll make a burger, and I guess I'll do a final taste test with that, with all the trimmings on a burger, and just let you know how I like it. But I'm going to love it, because this is already so good. I'll be back. All right, I'm just getting my burger ready. I have like this big kind of bun thing, so I probably won't use all of it. I'm just uh, gauging, but I'm putting on some veginaes. This is my, yeah, see I only need like half of that bun. That's my burger with the melted cheese. Uh, one sec. One more. Oh, I could put avocado on this, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just gonna, Leave it as is. There's some, there's my tomato, a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Um, oh, I also love 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 my veginaise chipotle. So this gives a little bit of a kick if you like spicy. And I think I'll just try. I'll actually try to spread that on here. Maybe a little bit there and then a little bit on this side. Now all I want to do is add, keeping this sort of simple, I've got lettuce. I should mix that up a little more. There we go. Lettuce, um, a little bit of relish. Okay, and I'm going to just grab some lettuce, putting some pieces on here that I washed. Now I guess if you have a big piece of bun like this, you could make it a double burger, if you like. I'm just gonna cut this because I don't want to have all that. Oops, I cut a piece of it off, so I'll take a bite of that part, but... Let me do that, guys, so you can see the picture. Okay, and since I cut this part here, I've got that little tiny strip, I'm just going to taste that. Delicious chicken burger. Vegan chicken burger. Yes, it's a thing. Thank you, Gardein. You are so awesome with your products. And there you go, guys. Chicken burger with cheese. Delicious. Alright, thanks for watching.